we're in Borjomi National Park in Georgia. Uh, there's a whole network of national parks in Georgia. This is the third one we visited. Uh, it's one of the largest and oldest national parks uh, in Europe. Uh, it's incredibly spectacular. Uh, it's well protected, which means we can't drive the car in, so we're a bit gutted about that. But uh, the only way to experience a national park is to go hiking. Today we're doing a one day hike, uh, which is the Black Trail, uh, which takes us um, up to 1,600 meters uh, up the mountainside and also into the heart of the forest. So it's gonna be amazing. Hopefully we'll spot some wildlife. There are bears in this park. We're about four kilometers in now and we're climbing still quite steadily. So we're at a junction. Um, we've got five kilometers to go this way. Uh, we've come seven kilometers, pretty much all of which has been uphill. Um, this is where the, the path splits and the one day hike continues this way, which is where we're going. And if you continue the other way, there's two and four day hikes. Because uh, the weather's quite bad, we're only doing the one day hike today. We're up to the snow line now as well and the temperature's gotten down a little bit colder. Um, we've seen some animal tracks in the mud. We think it's a large ungulate of some description, probably a red deer maybe. No sign of bears yet, a bit disappointed. Um, we've still got a little bit of climbing. Uh, according to the altimeter on my watch, we're at about 1,400, so maybe a little bit more climbing, and then it should all be downhill. Just okay. out of interest, if the weather was nice, would you be doing the four or five day hike? Oh yeah, for sure. Maybe in the car. Um, in this national park, they've recorded up to 90 Eurasian brown bears, and we've just come to the ridge along the top of the mountain. Uh, I think we found some evidence of them. We're about the halfway mark. It's so peaceful and quiet, we haven't seen anyone else. I've stopped for a sandwich. We heard something big moving in the undergrowth and we waited around and tried looking for it but we couldn't see it. So now we've carried on. It's so nice. Who makes the best sandwiches? You do. We've been climbing for two hours, over two hours probably, and we're still not at the top. We think this may be the top here. We've been walking along a really nice ridge, but it's still been climbing slowly. Obviously the higher we go, the snowier it gets, the slipperier it is. This must be the top. This must be the top. <laughs> Is there a breathtaking Caucasus view from there? Probably. It's a bit foggy. Can't really see much. We should have taken heed of the advice in the visitor centre that the weather would be quite um, changeable. But it's a shame we can't see the view. But it's really stunning up here. There's some lovely flowers and the trees, just a bit foggy. The fog has just started to lift a little bit and we're starting to get a bit of a view of the lower Caucasus and we can see the river right down below which is more or less where we started from. <laughs> 